This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks! My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight and a couple of more nights this week you're gonna see Battle Axe getting featured here and I just want to bring it up because a few of you have asked how to play tank destroyers and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit but I'm also gonna have some decent gameplay going in the background um, so you guys know me I I try to let everybody know I am NOT the best player in the world I'm not bad but I'm not great either I'm right around just above average. I know it. Everybody knows it. All you got to do is look at my stats. My WN8 overall is right around 2200, something like that, and it fluctuates by a few points here and there. Uh, most of my tier 10 tanks, I'm right around 2000 WN8 in. It's right there. Um, <laughs> but anyway, what I want to talk to you guys about is the different types of tank destroyers that you got to take into consideration. Um, so. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Different types of tank destroyers. All right, there are your glass cannons, aka the Stage 2 4005 and the Death Star and the Waffentrager E100. Uh, and then there are your beefcakes, as I call them, your Zyklops, aka the Jagpan Z100, the E4, the E3, the Object 268 is not quite a beefcake, but it's right there on the fringe. Um, I forgot to mention the Fosh and the, the glass cannon side of things. The Fosh actually has pretty troll front armor, so it can be considered a beefcake, I suppose. Now, I'm going to play this game really, really passive. I'm not going to be too aggressive, but at the same time, you're going to see me trying to use it as a tank destroyer should be used, which is sit back let the game come to you and then absolutely annihilate people when the moment comes um, so that's what's gonna happen it's not gonna be the greatest match ever there's several butt clenching moments that, you know what I you know what I mean everybody's had them I know I have my fair share of them and you'll see I'm trying to push over with the team to the right our arties have seen that the left side is completely undefended for the most part and they're sticking around and it's going to cost at least one, maybe two of them their lives because they're just, they didn't get out of the way in time. Um, so that's on the arties over there. you got to know as an arty to uh, reposition when you can um, to keep yourself alive because you're no good to the team if you're dead. Now here I'm trying to get shots on the C100 and I'm watching everybody get absolutely obliterated and I'm thinking, I ain't about to get hit like these guys are getting hit. I'm going to try to just take my time, take good shots, and see if I can't get something out of this. Now, the moment I finally acquire the E100, he goes below ground and breaks contact. It's not preferable. And I quickly have run out of friends over here. I mean, I've got a couple guys still here, but I'm feeling a lot less comfortable. Both of our arties bugged out. One person died. And then there's a few people at the base that are coming back to, uh, or at the castle that are coming back to defend the base. And I'm just going to try to get myself into position to uh, not die. Because I'm no good to my team dead. So, there are different ways to play different tank destroyers. Your glass cannons have to sit back. The only element of a glass cannon like the, the Stage 2, the Death Star. The Death Star actually can take a beating as long as they shoot your turret. But anywhere else, you're probably going to get pinned. But, it, oh, can we get this lichen? Come on, Spartan, don't miss. Oh, okay. Explain to me how I can hit a lichen with a 183mm Hesh round. And he lives shouldn't happen darn fly anyway <laughs> it's just like the lichen darn fly just won't die um, but yeah so your class cannons they have to sit back 
Uh, you can be aggressive in a Death Star. I wouldn't suggest being too aggressive in the Stage 2 because you will be pinned ruthlessly. Yes, you can obliterate the one guy, but is it going to allow you to stay alive? That's the main thing. So we still have the like, and of course we mercy rolled them because Wargaming's crap mechanic. Ever since the mercy rolls were put into the game, I have absolutely hated them. Whether it's my arty or, ooh, come on, and the E100 gets away with it. Whether it's the arties or if it's in my tank destroyers or my medium tanks, mercy rolls serve no real purpose. The only thing that they do is steal a kill from one guy and give it to somebody else. That's all they do. Generally speaking, if I mercy roll somebody, somebody else gets my kill when I should have been able to get the kill. That's There's no reason for that. Now this next shot is going to go straight into the front of the Waffles turret. Um, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Oh, hello, E100. Aim into the cheeks of the turret. Shot out. Pow! 1688 damage. That was a paddling. That's the other thing I want to mention. Everybody assumes that in the Death Star you just load hash, you just point click, and you pin everybody for absurd amounts of damage. That's not how it works. You do actually have to aim at weak spots of tanks. Because at the end of the day, it's still a high explosive round. you still have to penetrate to get those big rolls. Otherwise, you're going to get rolls of 500. I've had rolls as low as 300 on tanks. Um, but you can see this Lycan is just playing with fire. And I'm going to try to end him because I'm tired of him. Shot out, gone. 93 damage is all I left him with after the first shot. So there, 16,000 silver later, the Lycan dies. Was it, was it worth it? Absolutely. Because <laughs> that's one less guy i got to worry about. But anyway, so we've talked about glass cannons and how to use them. You've got to sit back. You've got to try to use the element of surprise to your advantage. And then aim and take your time. And oh my god, Waffle! And yeah, yeah. Hesh round through the no armor turret of a Waffle for 972. Sure. Didn't even hit his gun. Just straight hit his turret and did nothing. Well, I mean, 900 is not nothing, but it should have been 1,800 at least. And that's the troll side of the Death Star. That's the side of the Death Star that will get you killed in the wrong situations. He could have easily clipped me out had he had a full clip. Luckily, he didn't. But, so... Then you've got the beefcakes. Now beefcakes can be used like glass cannons. You can sit them at the back and snipe long range, do huge amounts of damage uh, while bouncing rounds, you know, off of your tank without really any cause for alarm. But where beefcakes really come into their own is that hyper aggressive push forward. You've got to you've got to have help because if you're by yourself and you're pushing forward, bad things are going to happen to you. You're going to get flanked. You're going to get into a bad position, and you're going to get yourself killed. But if you manage to uh, balance an aggressive push with cover from a teammate, you can do really really well. Uh, and that's what I try to balance out with uh, Zyklop, even though sometimes I play a little too aggressive, and I do a lot more. Uh, detrimental to my own game than I do, you know, helping my own game. So uh, keep that in mind. Just because you have ridiculous armor doesn't mean you can just plow through everybody. You've still got to make sure you take your time, aim the shots, get good hits, and oh, shot out. Pow! 1,565 damage. That was another paddling. That Waffentrager Panzer IV just got obliterated, and the Waffle finishes him off. So, we've managed to get this game close. We're still losing by one tank. Not any fault of my own, or the Waffle's own, because we've done our job. 
but we haven't had much help. Now we do have the heavy tank that has been uh, putting in work. I believe it's a tier eight heavy tank, maybe Tiger two, M103, I can't remember. I think it's a Tiger two though. It's a tier eight heavy tank, so he's doing the best he can, but he knows that he'll die if he gets shot again. So uh, there are two Death Stars out here. There's a heavy tank, which I believe is an M103 on the enemy team, and two artillery. Now, I'm gonna watch the clock and I'm gotta, I've gotta try to balance it because you gotta think, one of us has to try to spot the enemy team. These guys are just gonna hold up. They don't have to do anything. They can literally just not die and win the match for their team due to uh, having more tanks. So I'm going to eventually have to push to try to get these guys spotted, try to get some damage, and hopefully get some more paddlings. Um, and you can see, I'm just kind of waiting around. I don't want to do anything stupid yet. There's still plenty of time left. I don't want to push too early, and look what I get. M103, you done screwed up. Shout out. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so, we get rewarded for being patient. That's the key to tank destroyers. Yes, you can be super aggressive. Yes, you can do all these amazing things. However, most of the time, a tank destroyer with its long reloads is not going to like being at the front line. I mean, you can make it work, but generally you need the team to do that. Uh, it works really well with uh, platoons. You get in a couple uh, high tier tank destroyers and, and run platoons, you could absolutely ruin an enemy team. But if you're by yourself, you're better off just playing passive, letting the game come to you, taking the shots that the enemies give you, and trying to conserve your hit points as much as possible. Because the longer your big gun is in the game, the better off your team is. So this match, I'm not going to lie, it has a bit of a rough ending for me. Uh, I get trolled by the game, and you'll see that in a moment when I decide to push down. Um, and then I knew it was coming. I was saying it was coming. Um, I already listened to me and went over to K1, but unfortunately, it doesn't really pan out for us. Um, I honestly don't know what we should have done here. Uh, I've tried to. I figure we've got the waffle in position over there on top of the hill. We've got the uh, tiger two in position on top of the hill. We've got Artie to my right position on top of the hill. So I'm going to push down, try to spot these guys, try to get some shots into them, and uh, see if we can't push the issue. Now, we've already spotted the, uh, the 183, and we're going to try to get a shot right into the back of his tank. Now, if I'd have already aimed in, it wouldn't have been too bad because I could have potentially had that shot. But unfortunately, I thought he was going to do it again. If he'd have done it again, he would have been dead, because I guarantee I would have probably ammo racked him through the side of his turret. Um, but, unfortunately for me, he doesn't. I don't know if he knows I'm there, or if he just suspects I'm here. I wasn't spotted, I don't think. So we're just waiting for him to make a mistake. When you've got a 183mm gun, and it's got Hesh rounds that do 1800 damage, you know, rolls without ammo racking something you can potentially absolutely ruin a person now here I get unlucky he prox spots me as I'm coming in and we go into that death star shootout mode luckily I have guys able to shoot him from the other side of the map so I'm trying to get myself in a position that if he screws up I can hit him and look at this shot that is his tank I can clearly see his tank I pull the trigger and I get nothing. That should have pinned and that should have probably killed him. But because the game's like, nah, there's clipping here. Um, and it didn't even look like it hit the building. It just flat out either went straight through him, uh, hit a no hit zone on his tank, which I didn't know existed on the Death Star. And then of course T-92 finally gets a shot. And uh, it's unfortunate, but it does happen. We go down, that leaves just the Artie and the uh, Waffle left, and there's only one Death Star remaining. Can our Artie do anything? 
unfortunate. I mean, he's a good guy. I'm not gonna say he's not. He, I was talking to him in the match. He seems to be a pretty, pretty all right guy. He's in, a, I believe, the tier nine uh, bat chat artillery, which is nice. It's got the 360 degree turret. It's got the 155 mil gun. Reloads roughly 17 to 20 seconds. I can't remember. And has all the mobility that you could ever ask for. Plus, it's a not an auto loader, which means it reloads every 17 to 20 seconds. So, in some ways, this is the superior tank to the other Bat Chat 155-58. Now, this Death Star almost fumbles this away. He comes over the hill just in time to catch rounds from a de uh, from the waffle, and uh, unfortunately, just not enough time left. But what do we end up with? 5,200 damage, 1,300 assist, 1,000 block, three kills. Not bad. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.